Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Paul here at Northwest Indoor Golf and today we're going to take a little bit of a break from the full swing side of things and actually delve a little bit into the putting uh, using our Trackman 4 and the putting module um, and really today uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to do a comparison of a couple of styles of putter. Now this is not um, comparison of brand, this is not a comparison of price points but more so a comparison of actual uh, specification in terms of toe hang and general size and shape of club head. So um, many people have probably seen that putter fitting is now a thing and actually increasingly becoming popular. Uh, a lot of people have probably had a putter fitting and or a putter lesson before. Uh, and if you've not, I definitely recommend that that's something you should do because even the data that I've gathered in the short period of time using the Trackman 4 here, um, there is actually a, a massive um, amount of difference between different styles of putter that you know may be actually causing you significant uh, additional difficulty when you're on the greens and you know it's a great area where you can improve and really save some shots so um, historically I have used other putting uh, launch monitor systems um, there's a couple there's a camera based uh, one called Quintic and a, another uh, one which is actually very uh, club dependent uh, called Sam Putt Lab. So um, having used both of those before, I'm actually looking now at uh, Trackman giving me the best of both. So we're actually getting some analysis on ball roll um, from the Trackman radar measuring the ball. We're also getting some uh, club data measured as well because of the uh, dual radar technology so really leaves no stone unturned for, for this comparison so uh, without further ado I'm going to start off with my own putter I'm going to hit half a dozen putts with both mine which is Odyssey All Works number one I've also got a Cleveland Frontline uh, Zero I believe it is which is the uh, mallet style face balanced head versus the 35 degree toe hang of my Odyssey All Works one um, we'll come back to what that means in a short while, but first let's put some putts uh, down the uh, putting surface and uh, see what data we have to compare. So. Okay, so I've hit a bunch of putts with my own putter. That was the Odyssey O Works number one. And uh, just gonna backtrack now to expand on the um, toe hang of the putter. So um, you'll have seen it before where you know, you're know you standing in the golf shop and you've got someone looking at putters and they'll be resting the putter on the finger um, and feeling the weight and the balance of it. Toe hang ultimately is the angle that the toe of the putter droops down here when uh, you rest it on your hand so it's just rested on my finger I'm not supporting that in any way and that angle there is actually 35 degrees from horizontal so um, the putter I'm going to compare it to is this uh, Cleveland frontline mallet now this is a bigger head we've got a full uh, full back there's a little more weight in this but the key difference really is when you rest it against um, your finger and you can see here that the putter sits completely flat so this definitely has an influence on how the putter releases how uh, it wants to swing and you know when you're applying a technique that perhaps doesn't 
um, match up with the putter that you're using. Um, instead of the putter complementing your stroke, it can actually sometimes create some resistance and friction, actually makes it feel very uncomfortable. Um, and maybe you can't actually explain why it feels uncomfortable. So at that point, I'd start encouraging you to go and actually take a putter fitting or take a putter lesson, and, or putting lesson, should I say, and uh, try and get to the bottom of it. So I've grouped those uh, first six putts under one tag so we can keep them separate. I'm going to repeat the process now with this putter and then we'll take a look at the end and see what changes. Um, I can't stress enough, this is not a comparison of the Odyssey putter versus the Cleveland, more so a comparison of different styles of head um, and uh, see what influence they have on, you know, on your game. So um, let's, let's get into it. Okay, so we've hit a bunch of putts now and we're gonna delve into the software and have a little look at what we can establish from what we've just seen. Now, a couple of observations before we do that. Um, I was expecting there to be a difference, particularly in the direction that the putts were traveling. Uh, certainly expecting the more balanced mallet style putter to be more prone to a right side miss. And this in fact does confirm that to be the case. So um, we can, blow up the data to full screen now this is only actually about one quarter of the data that's measured with this but for simplicity um, I've just put these up on here um, and you know we're looking at comparisons uh, between the two styles of putter now there was definitely a weight difference there's definitely a shape difference um, this isn't uh, going to be any um, reflection of the quality of the products but more so the way that they're designed so um, the variance in club speed was nominal, a little bit faster uh, swing speed with the um, mallet style putter. Now part of me believes that's going to be the, the weight that's causing that um, and there's obviously an increase in the ball speed as well, how far the ball is going to roll um, for, that, um, for that input that you're giving the, the stroke. So um, attack angle does change very very slightly um, a fraction of a degree uh, launch angle largely the same and uh, the putters are the same lie angle so uh, and loft so by all accounts they should be quite similar uh, the club path does vary and that will have a influence on direction so with the uh, with the blade style I was a little bit out to in um, and with the mallet style putter, I was a little bit more linear through the ball, so achieving actually a, a 0.3 inside to out path. Now, uh, putts aren't gonna um, travel like a full swing shot does, so you're not gonna see draws, you're not gonna see fades, um, but we will see a variance in the start line or the launch direction uh, depending on how the club face is orientated relative to the club path. So, um, as we were expecting, less rotation from a more stable style putter, um, less rotation being the toe rotating, closing towards the heel. Um, we're getting a launch direction with the O-Works, uh, the 35 degree toe hang of 0.6 degrees right of target which I would be pretty happy with. I think you can be confident that on a straight putt with that kind of launch direction and good speed, you would probably be safe up to perhaps even as much as 11 or 12 feet. Whereas with the mallet style putter, the club was just not rotating closed at all. So not only have we got the club path starting a little bit more to the right, but with a slightly open club face, um, we're pushing the ball right and actually the launch direction uh, measured on average at 1.5 degrees right so at that point I'm looking at 
cuts from even as little as five foot or six foot and thinking if the speed isn't perfect there's a real good chance that those could miss or even lip out so uh, for me the, um, the the difference in the style of the head is is a massive thing um, for you know for you to consider if you're using a putter that you've never had analyzed before if you've never had a putting lesson to give you some um, guidance on what you should be doing uh, this could be an area where you're really leaving some shots out on the golf course and uh, ultimately this trackman device does uh, go outside and you know you can use it for other things like how to influence uh, green reading um, it can calculate stimp uh, or green speeds uh, um, but today was all about just giving you an insight this is something that we use here for both coaching and for fitting um, and in the summer when the weather's better uh, we'll be doing that as a matter of course outdoors whilst we have got the lovely eagle putting turf down uh, which gives us a nice consistent surface to do that in the winter so so i hope you enjoyed the video uh, if you did smash that like button get yourself subscribed and hit the notification bell so you get uh, get informed every time we upload content just like this um, I know that this for me has been really eye-opening in my own testing and hopefully it's been of a, a huge benefit to you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch. You can find us over on Instagram at Northwest Indoor Golf. Uh, send us a DM. We love hearing from everybody and uh, you know, hopefully we can help you out with whatever it is you need. Um, loads more coming soon. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you again.